Every story begins at the end of another. Zuberi. Mama, I miss him, Ma. I miss him so much. I know. I miss him too. Maybe if you go to see him, pay your respects? No, I, I can't. I, I can't do that yet. Zuberi. Mama, I can't. Baba, he, he left this for you, for the days after, when Baba found out he was sick. The look on his face, the anxiety, the fear, the anger, even a little confusion. But he had this sudden drive to write. He started this book. I think he wanted to make sure he had a good story to tell his son. What's it about? I don't know. But maybe it is for you to find out. Take your time, Zuberi. At the end of a world I once knew. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding? Baba. Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. 
And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed. I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail... Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman. My father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. You look at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear, awe. My Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba. You look at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here. We would admire this and every time... Now you look at them. No. Mask. I use the mask to channel my power. 
It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flow. A harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. <laughs> Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side, and these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. nearby. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Mm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The sun. The moon. I must embrace the dance. resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever.
The key. Uh, I cannot reach it. Shaman, fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Nakifo. of fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger too.
Zhao, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great spirit. Now this stupid bridge! Hmm. I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge, she was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it, one that only we can use. All I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice has always is yours. If you believe you can, then you must. But be cautious.
I've seen this before. Uh, shamans drink it. See how delicate it is. Powerful, too. Yes. You are lucky, Zhao. This power in the wrong hands would be disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted. For good. For greatness. Tricksters corrupted by their lingering circumstance. They have abandoned their jesting nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, Zhao. They do not seek to offend or harm. Truly, they are good people. Their only wish is to care. They rejuvenate and welcome others. They help. Come, take a moment. A traveler must rest to know the ground has shifted. and moon masks. 
feel different. Hadithi Yabamba. Hmm. The tale tells us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba Stone. <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba Stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well. Actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not.
waters around the boy fell and cascaded unto themselves with a will of their own. My Baba will have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hedithi. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakarambanga. Please do not fall this time. It is surprising to see an Ikakaramban. When the storms became violent, most had fled. Or worse. What is the girl doing out here all alone? Who is she calling to? All questions for the girl to answer. Until then, you should be considering your apology to her. You frightened her, Zhao. You owe her one at the very least. Mm. The Basenji's sorry lick is mightier than his proud bite. Ah, uh, okay, I get it.
creatures. Young at heart, a touch naive, perhaps. But they mean well. <laughs> I do like them. And nice to have some creatures out here that are not trying to maim me. Baba went fishing. He would say if you did not feed them some of your catch, <laughs> it meant trouble. Boat breakers. Boat breakers? Boat breakers. very much. I do. But tell me of your mama. Who was she? We should stay focused. Keep looking for the Ikakarambangal. Fast, eh? 
Listen, I wish to apologize. I should... Hey! No, wait! Uh, wait! Why is she running? Why did you say she had little legs? 